Hi, I'm Radhika, founder of Radhika's Balanced Body, and I have Kelvin here today, and we're gonna do a quick core crunch workout on the chair. We're gonna start with seated leg pumps. So we're gonna come up onto the heels. Our pedals are on the second cactus from the bottom. And we're gonna add a little bit of arm movement and some spinal mobility to this. So I'm gonna have you move forward just a little bit more on there, Kelvin, and just make sure you're sitting up really nice and tall. You've got that hot cup of coffee on the top of your head to begin with, so you're sitting up on the sit bones. We're gonna start real nice and easy by reaching the arms out to the sides, growing tall up to the ceiling. And as you exhale and press the pedals down, we're gonna round that back out, drawing those abdominals in, sitting back just slightly behind the sit bones. And on the inhale, as the pedals float up, we're gonna take it into an extension. The arms are gonna reach out, lift the heart up, but stay up on those sit bones. Looking good, and again. We exhale, pump the pedals down, focusing on keeping hips, knees, and ankles in line. Inhale, open up, getting up onto those sit bones. Nice. We're gonna go for eight more over here, and I'm gonna pull the dowel out now to make sure that right and left leg are working together, so you always have a smarter leg and a stronger leg, so this way they're gonna try to work together. And we go exhale, rounding that back out, Press back into my fingers over here, so we've got a little bit more of a tuck. There we go. Inhale, lift. The neck is long, the collarbones go wide, but you're in a neutral pelvis. And press down again for four. Drawing that gaze inwards and up. Good. And the pressing down is as important as the lifting up, so working the front of the legs as you push the pedals down. Resisting the springs on the way up, working through the backs of the legs. One more time, breathe out, exhale. And inhale, lifting up. Nice, we're gonna take it into a little rotation from here now. Slide the feet back to come onto the balls of the feet. Hips, knees, and ankles are still parallel. Yeah, we're gonna get you scooted forwards again once you get those pedals in place. Good, yep. And now from here, we're gonna add in a little rotation with the leg pump. I'm gonna add a little mind-body coordination. The arms reach out at level with the chest. Sitting up nice and tall, we maintain a neutral spine throughout. As you pumped the left pedal down, you're gonna rotate to the right side. The right pedal stays up, only the left pedal lowers down. Exhale, keeping that pelvis nice and neutral. Inhale, return to your starting position. Watching to make sure as you go to the opposite side, we're gonna press the hip forwards so that the pelvis stays nice and neutral. And return to your starting position. We're gonna do three more times to each side. Growing tall up to the ceiling, breathe out from the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Thinking about keeping hips, knees, and ankles in line again. Exhale. Trying not to lean back. Good. Now we're gonna push the opposite hip forwards to keep that pelvis neutral. There you go. And back in. So we got equal weight on both those sit bones throughout. And exhale, we're gonna pull the ribs forwards just slightly. And back in. No shifting of the weight. We'll do one more over here, breathe out. Good, pushing that left hip forwards to keep the hips in line with each other. And back to your starting position. And we're gonna go into seated frogs from here. The dowel goes back in. We stay on the balls of the feet. Keep those heels together now, coming into your first position. The hands are gonna come back to the back edge of the seat, fingers pointing away. Remember, in this exercise, we want to ensure that the pelvis stays lifted throughout. Really push down through the heel of the hand. We're working the entire back of the body in this exercise. So on the inhale, we lift the hips up and forwards, keeping those pedals lifted as much as possible. Good, my hand's gonna go to the lower back. Now, don't drop those hips. Pump the pedals four times. Inhale, exhale. There you go, good. Really working the back of the body keeping the gaze up to the top corner of the wall in front of you one more time. And we're gonna sit back down onto the chair to come back to a seated position. 
hopping off the chair. We're going to come back to the back side of the chair to go into a single arm chest press. This is a really, really great way to work the slings in the body, so the front and the back of the body together. We're going to stay on the same spring load, but the dowel is going to come out to give us a split pedal. You're going to be lying down on your stomach. When you lie down on your stomach, your hip bones are quite close to the front edge. And when you press the pedals down to bring your upper body parallel to the floor, shoulders should be right over your wrist. So that's where you know what the right starting position is. We're going to scoot you back just a little bit more, Kelvin, to bring your shoulders back. Yes, so they're firmly over the wrist. Float the pedal up. Find that nice starting position, belly button in, tailbone to nose, reach the toes back behind you. Now, keep that left pedal nice and steady. Place your right hand on the side of the chair, on the wooden frame. Push firmly into that right hand, into the side to keep those shoulders parallel. We're going to bend and extend the elbow on the left side without dropping the shoulders. Inhale, bend the elbow to float the pedal up. Exhale, press it down. Good. Four more times, working on keeping those legs reaching so you can do anywhere from four to six repetitions. We're going to do two more, keeping that upper body nice and straight so we don't want to be flexing over to one side. And we're going to switch to the opposite side. So hand comes up onto the side of the frame on the left side. Good, there you go, challenging over here. Working on keeping the spine straight in one long, strong straight line. Let's lower the upper body down just a little bit more so that it is parallel to the floor. Maintain that nice, long, straight line. Bend and extend the elbow four times again. You're going to feel the muscles in the shoulder working, the chest, the triceps, as well as the muscles in the front and the back of the body to maintain that nice, long length. And one more. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, we press down. And then slowly float the pedal up. And we're going to gracefully come to a standing position behind the chair to go into hamstring stretch two. The pedal is going to become a single pedal again. So we're going to place that dowel in. We'll bring the spring load down just a little bit. So by bringing the spring load down to one spring on the second cactus is really going to challenge the abdominals. So we really want to make sure in our hamstring stretch two, None of the body is touching the seat of the chair, so not the thighs, the chest, or the arms. So you're going to stand behind the chair, feet are parallel, making sure that you are really engaging through your center and keeping your pelvis over your knees throughout. On the inhale, the arms float up. On the exhale, we're going to round the spine out and bring the hands down onto the pedals without touching the seat of the chair. As you continue to press the pedals down, you're going to inhale, taking it into an extension. So lift the heart up, draw those shoulders down and away, keep your hips firmly over your knees. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the back up, float the pedals up halfway, take that gaze downwards, good. And keep squeezing through the backs of the legs to keep the pelvis over the knees. Let's do that four more times. You can do anywhere from six to eight repetitions over here. And exhale, good. So we want to see a really steady pelvis over the knees. So really work from your center. Inhale to push the pedals down, lift the heart up and extend, keeping the chest off the seat. Exhale, tuck and round out, draw the shoulder blades wide. One more time. Inhale, collarbones wide, shoulders come down and in. Exhale, tuck and roll up. Now in a nice, smooth, flowing movement, we're going to release the pedals and roll all the way up, pressing the hips forward. Good. Stacking the vertebrae up, one on top of the other. Exhale, hands come back down by your sides. And for our last exercise, coming around to the front for hamstring stretch three, otherwise known as pull-ups. We're going to take the spring load back up to two springs on the third cactus from the bottom. Dowel is in, hands come to the sides of the seat. This is a great exercise to really work on core strength and abdominal strength. We're going to come up onto the balls of the feet, and Kelvin, I'm going to help you push these pedals all the way down. Good. Coming up onto your tippy tippy toes, feet are parallel, keeping that spine nice and neutral, so ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the ribs, and ribs over the hips. 
On the inhale, transfer the weight to your upper body. Gaze stays slightly in front of the chair. On a strong exhale, drawing those abdominals in, keeping the spine neutral, float the pedals up. Beautiful. And inhale to lower back down, nice and controlled. We're gonna do five more repetitions. Again, you can do anywhere from six to eight. Working on keeping the shoulders over the wrists, the collarbones wide, working from your abdominals, and inhale to lower. And we lift again for four. Nice, strong connection with your center, and exhale. We're gonna tuck the chin slightly to unwrinkle the back of the neck. And three, but your gaze can come up ever so slightly. There we go, nice. And two, we inhale to lift, push that seat down, so you're really gonna feel those shoulders and triceps working to stabilize you. One last one. And slowly lower back down on the inhale. And we're gonna step off, and we'll guide the pedals together to the starting position. Thanks for watching this Balanced Body video.